you know, before we get into today's video, see if you're really, really quiet. If you just, shh, 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 no, I'm being serious, just, no, honestly, trust me, shh, shh, open your ears. Do you hear that? That is the faint sound of Ryan Kent blasting simply the best for his apartment down in Liverpool, ladies and gentlemen, because the European money is on its way. Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo992 and today we are back with another brand new video. Today's video we are here to discuss Rangers reaching the European group stages. Boy, does that feel good to say again. But before we go any further on with today's video, ladies and gentlemen, just a friendly reminder between me and the, if you are new around here and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please consider doing so. It's right down there. It's free. It doesn't cost you a penny. It just helps us on our way towards 55 freaking K. Pff, I don't even care where to start because that game, especially in the second half, was the definition in Epi Bum time. But let's pull in the reins back to the first half then, shall we? And dive into the game recap because it's quite interesting to think back in the second half because I don't think we were 100% at it, like we didn't seem quite up to speed, we were, we were seeming just about half yard off the pace and I know a lot of people's discussing that online but it has to be said, we should have been 2-0 up when we were half a yard behind them. We created two massive opportunities, the first one fell to Ojo, I believe this was the first one that actually happened in the game, again my mind's all scattered so if I mix them around, I do apologise, I know this is my job and I'm bad at it but I try my best, okay? But I'm sure the first opportunity the game fell to Ojo after Alfredo Morelos was absolutely body checked out the building, gets slapped outside the box, the referee plays advantage, Ojo's running clear on goal, he just needs to hit the target, he just kind of swipes it out with his left foot, and I swear, from the angle he's out, what's he, maybe 10 yards out, he nearly hits the corner flag. But as Rangers fans, we're used to not doing things easy, so we just chalk that off, be like, right, that was one, we throw it away, we try and create that other. Well, five minutes later, a delicious ball gets whipped into the back post. Alfredo Morelos meets it perfectly, maybe six yards out, but honestly, he misses it by that, and you're just grinning at the edge of your teeth, you're like, <laughs> is that the kind of day it's gonna be? And in truth, especially throughout the rest of the first half, there wasn't enough quality. We never took our chances, we never quite turned it up a notch. I thought Ryan Jack and Nico Katic, though, during the first half was also equally brilliant, but we'll speak on them as the game goes on. But there is something I want to talk about right at the start of today's video and that's just how simply pathetic Lega Warsaw was in that game. Every single one of those players, are, they don't deserve the fans that they've got because yes they flare and everything that was too far and they're obviously going to get charged by UEFA or they bloody should by what's been happening recently. They'll get their, their punishment for that but the, the sound and the noise that they make for the entire 90 minutes of a game of football is a credit to their fans but these football players, I'm not wanting to rant on it too much but they're genuinely pathetic to watch. All this rolling about, holding them down. I mean, a guy in the first six minutes or something like that was trying to get Alfredo Morelos off for a stamp. I mean, he's rolling about, he's holding his ankle. He stayed doing, honestly, I timed this. I've got it on my phone. I'll throw up the screenshots when I'm editing this video if I remember and it's not too late. He stayed doing for two minutes and 58 seconds, right? Just down, no moving. Oh no, it's some serious going on. The minute the referee forces him up to the side of the park, he jumps back up pushes like the the people that comes to check if he's all right the medics and that to one side and he's signaling to come back on that is pure pathetic and it wasn't the only time they'd done it in the game of football every single time there was a moment of contact doing holding rolling about trying to get players sent off pathetic and it just makes his victory even more sweeter knowing that we managed to battle against that type of performance through two legs and against two referees that bought into it line and sinker every single time that they died because they got so many opportunities, even in this game of football, silly free kicks and everything like that was never free kicks and opportunities to whip the ball into the box. But we had a centre half by the name of Nikolo Katic that simply said no. Come on, you know we're going to speak about Nikolo Katic in length. If you watch that game of football, tell me a better centre half performance in the last couple of years than what? we just witnessed for Nikolo Katic. Every single header he won. Every time they ran at him, he got the ball cleanly. Every single time they tried to get in behind him on pace, he was quick enough and got the freaking ball. That was scrum deliumptious. Aye, that's right, I finished that sentence with a quote from Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> but all joking on that aside, we have made the European group stages against a team that is a very good team. When they stay on their feet and they play football, they are a dangerous, dangerous team and they have got good football players but we managed to keep them at bay and made sure they never scored one goal through two legs and a lot of that is down to big 
Nikolo Katic. Turn our attentions back to the fan recap then diving into the second half there was about a six or seven minute spell where it just looked like we were going to score it was just constant pressure after pressure after pressure I know I've said this on Twitter but if coming close to scoring goals was a sport we'd be undefeated champions. But a lot of credit has to be given to this Rangers team and whatever Steven Gerrard or the staff done at half time because they came out of just a completely different animal and they went after Legia in the right way. Instead of getting maybe caught up and frustrated with them diving, they just went for them. And as I just said 30 seconds ago, it was only a moment of time before we scored. Ojo went close with a, a shot on target that was well saved by the goalkeeper and Alfredo Morelos comes this once again from scoring with a shot that he drifts down to his right foot. Connor goal already celebrating he thinks it's in but again it just trails wide and you're thinking yes Rangers go for it we've got all the momentum then the game has to stop because the Legia fans with their flares and it was just a massive pain in the you know what scape because again we had built up the momentum we had finally taken control of the game and it just seemed like it was only a matter of time before we put the ball into the back of the net but because the game had to be stopped for about four or five minutes till the, the flare smoke finally cleared it gave the Legia manager time to rally his players and sort them out and just change things and tweak things again that we had done at half time to take over the game so when the game had restarted it was just it was again a bit flat and as we all feared the first chance that was created after the stoppage in play obviously felt to Legia because you knew that was exactly the way it was going to go their striker manages to turn Connor Golton a bit of a belter if I'm honest with you left to right, opens the space up, but he shoots it just kind of softly at Alan McGregor. It's a very smart and comfortable save. He had one earlier on in the first half as well. Exactly the same movement, opened it up. But thankfully, in both occasions, the shot was absolutely mince. Now, it's worth noting, just before the stoppage for the flare, by the way, Jordan Jones came on. And I don't know how you felt, but every single time he got the ball, it was very reminiscent of what used to happen last year with Ryan Kent got it. The expectation just, just goes up because you know he's not going to stop, turn it and pass it backwards. He's never, ever going to do that. And I don't think he has so far in his Rangers career, he's so positive and every single time he gets the ball he tries to get beyond his marker, does it work all the time? Not, but at least the guy's got the belief and his confidence and his inability to continue to try and thank Philly he did come on because the cross that he put in for the goal that finally broke the back of Legia Warsaw was absolutely top notch it dips right into the head of Alfredo Morelos and the big man is there to score, he probably could have had a hat trick the night if he was a bit more sharper but again when the moment arrives right at the Death, the 91st minute Alfredo Morelos is there for another European goal. Long gone are the days that we used to call him 55 pence heed because of the way he used to always heed our way. No, he's Ryan Kent heed because that header should finance the Ryan Kent move. <laughs> No, seriously. Now, you think scoring the 91st minute, the pandemonium that happened, that would probably be the last thing that happened in the game. But no, 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 no. Settled in. We're Rangers fans. You know there's always going to be something else to happen. Well, there is. Another seven minutes added on at the end of the freaking game. But Legia never got a sniff near goal because Nikolo Katic again was just absolutely frightening. Every time they fired it into the box, the Croatian Prince was there to clear it away. And my favourite, one of my favourite moments of the match, sorry, my favourite ma moment is obviously the goal, but the other favourite moment is when a wee scuffle happened with Jordan Jones, Alfredo Moreno sprints up and I'm going, oh no, here we freaking go. Alfredo's just going to deck the boy, isn't he? But he doesn't deck the boy. Alfredo Morelos is the peacemaker in a scuffle between players, ladies and gentlemen. I've seen it all. The fan recap's done. Alfredo Morelos has changed from the guy that used to just can have one of these to, come on now guys, let's calm down and keep the heat. What? And as you can tell, I'm absolutely buzzing with the result. And I just want to finish the fan recap there. So if there's something I missed, I do completely apologise. But I'm just buzzing. I just want to share it with you guys. I want to get this video up as soon as possible so we can see what you're saying about making it to the European group stages. The last thing we need to speak about, though, is a couple of individual player reviews. As mentioned right at the start of today's video, Ryan Jack was, again, simply beautiful to watch in this game of football. He does, he does everything. Now, again, that's something that gets thrown out and like said by a lot of pundits, oh, this guy does everything, this guy does everything. But Ryan Jack legitimately does everything, whether it's in defence or going forward. He's involved in it all. And again, he was simply incredible in that match from the first whistle to the last. He never made one mistake. And if I'm honest with you, I could spend a wee minute or two speaking about every player because they all had a moment in the second half where a moment of quality and they show that they deserve to wear 
that badge. But simply because of the time reasons on today's video, the last player I want to mention very, very briefly is going to be BB. Yes, he got substituted off, but again, that guy played with a hell of a lot of confidence. I mean, he was cutting in and crossing it with his weak foot. That shows you how confident he was. And if I'm honest with you, that's probably his best 60 minutes that he's played. Yes, he scored the World Day against St Mirren, but that, for me, is BB's best performance in a very very long time. But with that being said, I'm going to end the video on my part there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm now handing the reins over to you guys. So if there's something I've missed or there's something you guys want to talk about, dive in at the comment section and share your opinions. And while you guys are doing that, I'll jump over to Twitter and hear from the people. Now, there's been 2,541 votes. Oh my sweet 55. There's still 54 minutes remaining as well. That is frightening, Support Nation. I greatly appreciate it. Now, 2% voted for other. 16% voted for Ryan Jack, 20% voted for Alfredo Morelos, but the far and away winner with 62% of the vote is Nikolo Katic. That's the biggest swing of man of the match poll has ever been, and we've had players scoring hat tricks. That shows you how good he played the day. Bob Steele writes Katic for me with honourable mentions to Jack and Davis, also Jones and Morelos for that goal. Kept us waiting to the 90th minute, but it was well worth the wait. Ross Watson writes in us. Cameron Campbell writes in one word for Katic tonight, wall. Gavin Dixon writes, Katic with heads are an old lady on a wheelchair just to get us through in Europe. No lies detected with that statement. Stevie Brown writes in, Big Nico took no prisoners tonight, even Bonnebeer couldn't stand in his way. Yeah, he nearly killed Bonnebeer Barisic. Imagine what it'll do to your players, the opposition. <laughs> David Noble writes in, Was a poor performance, Ojo is no Ryan Kent, I'm afraid. Hopefully he can improve. Katic was a rock at the back, man of the match, all day. Fair enough. Rob Cairns writes in, Katic was awesome. Don't care how much money Halanda costs, Katic has to start. Wins everything in the air and is and just gets exactly what Rangers is all about. Callum Stewart writes in, I love Rangers so much. Don't we all, Callum? That, that's great to see. Just see the positivity. That's why we did it. That's why we did the channel. That's why we went through all the years of the BS and everything that went harmed and getting laughed at for getting smashed all the time. Statements like that and seeing the joy in all these comments is just absolutely brilliant. I genuinely love it. Peter Ramsey also writes in, Ryan Jack was immense again, but Katic was outstanding. And the last one we'll read out comes from Brian Graham and he writes in, Gerard for me, in two seasons, he has assembled a team that we can be proud of. That's a fantastic tweet to end on as well. And with that being said, you've heard from the people, you've heard from myself. If you haven't done so already, you know what to do by now. Shout out to the Absolute Legends on the Patreons account if you would like to support the channel, by the way. Link for that, as always, is down there in the description below. And I've been CG Over92. Thank you so much for watching and be freaking bye.